what is going on guys, it's your boy Sister here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial, we're doing text variations today, so basically a whole video when I literally never cover on my banner tutorials or anything like that, for some reason, so the text is literally what makes or breaks a design for me, I've been doing recently uh, some really cool like uh, interface designing around the, or I guess you can say interface details around the text, as long as some cool outside things we can do around the text, and also of course layer style and font variations, so with all that put together, uh, really simple things, literally five second things you can do the text literally can make or break your design so honestly I wanted to give you guys this little tutorial on how to do it because I never really do text tutorials so here you guys go here it's gonna be coming right now anyways uh, for uh, the fonts are actually gonna have a nice little variation of fonts and a nice list of fonts that you can, you can use uh, in the description below if you want to download some really cool fonts maybe if you have never heard of them or some community favorites I will put those in the description below of course, and some layer styles as well. If you guys want more layer styles, I'll be, I will be doing this layer style right here, like a little simple. Uh, you can see these like two gradient layer styles. It looks like kind of like popping out. I just like this clean look to it. But if you want layer styles, I also have a nice little layer style pack. Uh, exclusive layer styles, 20 of them. Really nice. You can kind of like see what it is right here uh, in the background here. Uh, really, they do work out. If you guys want to purchase them, I will put the link in the description below. And of course, uh, of course, I'm going to have to mention the stock brush pack. It's literally been killing it. You guys have been killing it. Everyone loves it. All the stocks have been working hard on some new ones as well. I don't want, I don't want to spoil anything, but I will be giving a little update next week. So anyways, purchase that, of course. It's giving you free updates every other week. Uh, stock brush pack, $5. Of course, pre-mades if you want to use them. And of course, I actually uploaded this three days ago, the professional style overlay. If you guys want to purchase it as well, $6. Uh, really works for anyone. Uh, gameplay wise you can always just use the uh, webcam if you don't have a webcam you can take it off of course and then use the header itself or the overlay itself which is really good for any kind of like category of you know whatever your videos are about and when I like have a nice little you know username and social media it's a really good way to do it anyways let's go with the text variation tutorial let's get started all right let's do this so we're gonna go ahead and use oh by the way before anyone asks I will not have this in the freaking description below because I'm gonna tell you right now this font is called planet cosmos planet and uh, Cosmos with a K, so please never ask me again on Twitter, okay? All right, let's do this. Text, and we're gonna use Franklin Gothic for this, Franklin Gothic Heavy, and then we're just gonna use Alt Shift and move this down a little bit, and to make a duplicate, simple enough. Oops, for some reason I did it multiple times. All right, and with this, we're gonna change this to Variations. This would obviously be your name if you're doing it for somebody else, of course. But if you're not doing it for anyone else, I'm just going to use this for example. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, variations. I'm going to make this text font 11 size, just so it fits below the text and kind of looks nice like this. And so the first thing I'm going to do today is actually do the uh, the thing I usually do all the time, is actually cut out the T or cut out some letters out of the main text, I guess you can say, or cut out letters out of other words. Uh, it looks really cool, like like letters like this, like the T, like look, just cut out the little text. It just looks better for me. Uh, for anyone who has like multiple L's or something, it can look really good. Try it out. Uh, it kind of like makes it look cleaner to me. So what I'm going to do, it's really simple to do. It's probably one of the first things you've ever learned or I've ever learned in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do, right click or uh, control click on both of these and then right click rasterize type. What rasterizing type do, make sure that your text is fine, everything's spelt right because you will not be able to edit it. But when you have a rasterize, you put filters on it, uh, edit it, all that cool stuff and change the perspective, which we're going to do afterwards. Uh, anyways, so control click, right click, rasterize, uh, rasterize type. Once you do this, you select variations or whatever word you want to cut out of the other one. So you're going to select the word you want to cut out. And then you just use your magic wand tool, which is W on your keyboard, uh, right here, right here, or W on your keyboard. And you can just either select each letter if you want by holding shift. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, it's too tedious for you. You can literally just select anywhere on the outside. So I'm just going to select over here and then right click. Uh, you can see it actually selects everything, but this is not selected. This is like everything outside. So what we're going to do is press select inverse, which will actually have everything in the inside, which is our text, which we need to be selected. So once you do this, you can simply just go to select, modify, expand, simple stuff here, expand by five pixels, which is perfectly fine. You press OK. And then once you have this, your expansion, or I guess you can say your text uh, selection, actually, uh, basically you can see it expanded by five pixels. And now if you just go ahead and select the text, and then just press delete on your keyboard, you'll see the T or whatever other letters you had cut out out of the other one on top. So this is pretty cool. And if you have, I don't know why this does this, but these little bleeds, I guess, you can kind of fix with your uh, your simple little, uh, uh, how do you call this, the rectangle marquee tool. And then you just simply just select this over here and then you just delete it. Simple enough. If you want to keep everything clean, of course. And I'll do it on the other side as well. Why not? It's going to bother me if I don't. Like so. Delete. There we go. So it kind of like cut the T out of the X. Looks really cool. It just looks a lot more cleaner to me. So when we do this, we can actually start with the layer styles now. So I'm going to go to variations. I'm going to change the color of this. So I'm going to go to color overlay really quickly. 
and then change the color and I'll press OK and then just before I do anything I'm just going to rasterize it really quickly so that this can be the color and it's just perfectly fine I don't know why I do it but I do it don't bother me it's like a pet peeve so anyways we're going to go to bevel and embos so we're going to go to our depth here I'm going to change this about 550 and then our size is going to be about 145 as this is one of my simple ones I always usually do my uh, for my text and what I want to do is change this white to a gray press OK it doesn't really matter what gray you use just make it gray and then just load the opacity a little bit we'll go back to it in a second but then also change this black to a nice little, I guess, a darker uh, gray, but not so, you know, really distort black. I, for some reason, it's a little it's little pet peeves, but I think it looks better for some reason if you don't have dark, dark black. You just have a nice little shade of black, of course, or darker shade of black, if that makes any sense at all. Anyways, lower the past a little bit so you can see what it's doing over here. And I kind of like that. Uh, that'll work. So I have this at 10 and our passing on 21 on the other one. For some reason, I, I know you guys are probably saying in the comments or something. Anyways, go to Drop Shadow now. And we're going to change our distance about 2 and change our size to about 3 or so. And then once you've done this, you're good to press OK if you want to. There you go. And then we can just simply just right click, copy layer style, and then put on the same text here. And since I know already I'm going to have to change this, you see how like dark this gray is? We're going to change that really quickly. I kind of want to have like a nice, a better transition than this, uh, meaning like I just want to have a nice little, uh, the same, more of a same color, like more of the same color. I just want a cleaner transition. So not so dark here. Just going to click on that. And I'm gonna lower this, or not lower it, put it up a little bit. So it has like a nice smooth transition. It's kind of still see the little bevel embos there, but it's not so, you know, really can't really see it that well. Like a more smoother transition. For some reason, it's like four times, but I want you guys to get it smooth. All right, so once you do this, uh, I'm gonna start off with doing the little pers uh, perspective thing. So you can control click on these two, and what you can do is press control T, and then right click perspective. You can mess around with distort, you know, all this other things you can do with your text, uh, kind of like messing around with it. But perspective is one of my favorite ones to use. If I click on that and go to the top left and then move my mouse up when I select it, it'll move it toward this way. And if I go to my bottom right and move my mouse to the right now and put it more on the outside and it'll look really cool. So you can always mess around with those kind of like things. Anyways, that looks good to me. So this is what we had, right? And this is what, this is what we had. Uh, this is what we had or have. And this is what we had. This looks better to me for some reason. So that's what I'm going to do. So now that we have this, we're going to do the outlining of the uh, the text now, which we have here, and then we'll do the uh, interface detail in a second. So what we're going to do is you simply just, uh, I'm going to make a, uh, just going to, just because, we're going to back this up, just in case I ever mess up, and then control J to make a duplicate of it. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to simply just control click and then control E to merge these two things together. And then once we do this, we can just take our magic wand tool like we had before, W on our keyboard, and then select the outside because I'm going to do this the little quick little thing to do it. Select the outside, then right click, select inverse to actually select the little uh, the text, uh, the text uh, letters, I guess. And then you want to go to select, modify, expand, and they're going to use it by 10 pixels. You want to press OK. And then once you've done this, you can either just simply just right click on your background layer, right click, uh, copy layer, uh, layer via copy, which is simple to do. But if you want to, you can just make a new layer. And then you can just use any color, either your primary or secondary, pressing control backspace or alt backspace, fill it in with any color, it really does not matter. But either way you do it, you have to lower your fill down to zero. And then once you've done that, you just double click on it. And then we're gonna mess around with our layer style. So we're gonna go ahead and go to inner shadow now. We're gonna go just change our distance to zero and then our choke, our choke and our size we're gonna work with really quickly. Let's see, whatever looks good to you. I'm gonna go with, I'll go with eight, no, I'll go with eight. And I'll just keep that at 10. I'm going to my opacity on the black a little bit. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, that'll do. So we're going to just change that to about 55 opacity. And then our choke size and our choke in the size is at 8 and 10. And once you've done that, you can just add a stroke to it now. I'm going to just change the stroke to white. And of course, this is a personal preference. If you want to change the color of the stroke, you could. But what I usually do is change it to white and then I put my blend mode to overlay. And then once I've done that, I'll put that to about 4 or so. Nice little bold uh, stroke around it. Put a drop shadow on it now. So distance at 0. And then I'll mess around with spread and size. Hmm, 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 hmm. That looks good. Kind of. And that looks better. So I'm going to put some gradient overlay on as well. Because I'm going to put on soft light. Double click on this. Change this white to a more of a darker gray. And I'll lower the opacity on it. And then also, if you guys did not know, the satin, which is really cool. I never used it before. But if, I, if you just lower your distance down or your size down, you just mess around with your distance. You can see the little insides uh, that looks kind of looks like a little pixelated things happening right in the background. You kind of see those in, in the back, messing around your distance, and you can also just lower this opacity to uh, lower the opacity down, but also put it on overlay or soft light. Lower the opacity down, and it works out 
pretty well for a little, little added detail in the background. So that's always a cool little trick and tip, I guess you can say. And once you're done with that, you press OK. And then once we're done with this, we're going to do the interface designing now. So we're going to make a new layer. And this is just done with your pen tool. Actually, one of my friends, Rated Design, actually did a really nice little in-depth tutorial on it. So I will link that in the description below as well. But anyways, use our pen tool here. And then we're just going to simply use your pen tool and then just select around the, the, the text itself. And like whatever, just like following along what it looks like, I guess. And then just simple, simple little things like this can literally make your designs look so much better. Look a lot more done to it, but it looks so simple. Uh, or simple, but looks like you did a lot. So here we go. Move that there. And then once you're done with that, we little pen tooling, you just round. Like I just did something random, right? Right click on your new layer, fill path, drop down, use color, and then just use a white or so, whatever you want to use, it doesn't really matter. Or you can use the same color as your text or whatever you want to do. Press OK, and then you've done that over there. For something that looks really weird, but I'll just keep it, <laughs> forget it. And then we'll do this over here. Do something like this. Make a new layer again. Right click, fill path, color white. And then do it again over here. Like so. And then do something like this. And like that. And then new layer. Right click, fill path, again on the other side. Boom, 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 boom. Right click, I'm gonna just do the same layer because what I'm gonna do now when I fill the path in, use color. When I do this, I'm gonna make these two on a different color, so I'm gonna use the overlay. So it looks pretty cool. So now that you're actually done with everything, it looks pretty cool. For some reason, I said actually really weirdly. Anyways, this looks really good. For me, I think it's just something you can do with your text if you want to mess around with this kind of style. Of course, you can use some like things that I showed you guys in this video for your own need, making your own cool text, you know, variations. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Two hundred likes on this video gives a secret download below. It's a little secret giveaway I do every single video. And don't forget to check the description for everything I talked about in today's video, as well as on the on Twitter. I'm doing a little Cyber Monday, so if you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, I am doing a everything pack sale, which basically get all my products for like I guess all my products for one price which is it was it was previously $30 for only today the Monday the day this video is uploaded it's gonna be $15 so I can get all my self by products that are in my store currently also you'll get emailed through your PayPal email every single other product that gets uploaded on my everything pack uh, or in my store period for free of course through your email so it's kind of like a one-time purchase and you get everything else after that of course the current things as well so if you want to make an investment with that you could anyway thank you guys so much for watching like I said before told you guys later so I'll you out peace